Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have the shocking revelations that Harry and Meghan supporters have been quietly and steadily walking towards the door because they cannot stand the Montecito duo any longer. That's the case with Tessa Dunlop, who up to recent times was at some point a staunch supporter of the Monte Shit Show duo, even with their crazy ups and downs. But it so happens that recently she just stated publicly that Harry... How do I say this? He's not the brightest of the bunch. But before we begin, I wanted to show you a meme that I stumbled upon as I was making this video. And I think long-haired Harry looks kind of cool. He only has to shave the sides of his head to go full redneck. So, because I'm that competitive, I decided to come up with my own version of Lucius Hair Harry. And so far, it's been a hit on all my social media. I think this is a good suggestion or template for Gingerbread, that he could follow for any kind of hair extension. She, he looks even smart. But to debunk this smart Harry theory, here comes Tessa Dunlop, a vociferous apologist for Harry and Meghan, now says the reality of Harry's painful decisions are catching up with him. She continues, We have to own when you are part of the royal family, the building bricks that come with the institution, mean you are greater than the sum of your parts, which means that by definition, Harry outside royalty is less than the sum of his parts, and he had his state in the institution. But we want to be careful with this kind of statements. We don't want Harry to start talking about his parts. I think that's something very painful. It's reality that will be hitting home for him now, and I've always felt compassion for Harry, and I continue to feel compassion because he was born into something. When you're born into something, you take it for granted. But in fact, this is my favorite part. The author of the 2022 work, Elizabeth and Philip, explained that although she has compassion for Harry, he is now less than the sum of his parts outside the royal family being within which he took for granted. And that makes so much sense in the light of all the interest that must have been circling around the ginger winger when he was still a working royal. Of course, the catalyst was your favorite duchess, who honeypotted him to leech his royal status for meager profits, because they haven't been able to capitalize on that. Uh, speaking to royal commentator Kinsey Scofield on the To Die For Daily podcast, Dr. Dunlop said the Duke should not have rushed into this difficult, albeit lucrative, journey. Well, the lucrative, I don't know. What I do know is that it entails some not-that-royal activities. But I guess they know what they are doing, even if A, it almost never makes sense, and B, it's always corny and cheap. Dunlop says, I think it's been an incredibly difficult journey. I don't think Harry has many assets. I don't think he had the intellectual acumen and probably grounding in history, bizarrely, to understand just what he was trying to achieve. Yeah, it was a very polite way of saying that Harry is thicker than a brick and he lacks the foresight to grasp what he was getting into. Yeah, just plain dumb. And by the way, someone that thinks that we are dumb is Kristen Meinzer, who is somehow a female version of Discount Barbie Ken. Because she shared this um, anecdote on social media, and I don't know, Rick, this sounds like a complete fabrication. Overheard, staff at my doctor's office. Are you watching Suits? It's really good. Yeah, it's crazy seeing Meghan Markle before she was royal. She's a talented actor. She's got lots of talents, not just acting, like philanthropy and stuff. Those royals are missing out. Think of it this way. Of all the things that never happened, this never happened the most. Now, I always give people the benefit of the doubt, but that's only when there is a hint that they have at least tried. Did their best, show some intention of quality bollocks, something plausible, credible, at least amusing. But this, no way, this people are not even trying. But the ones really trying, and I hope they succeed, is the guys at the Invictus Games. Quote, the mission statement of the Invictus Games Foundation is to change lives and save lives. It is nice, typos and all, but sadly there's still Harry's shadow looming over them. You know that one of Twitter's features that you can hide replies, maybe because you don't like them or find them hurtful or whatever reason. So uh, these hidden replies went exactly as you might expect. 
Yet your patron, Harry, is the opposite of what you stand for. Such a shame you can't find a suitable patron. The veterans deserve better than Harry and his wife. All donors deserve to know where and how all donations are being used. Get a new patron. I totally support the veterans, but I won't be watching as long as Prince Harry and his disgusting wife is associated with the Invictus Foundation. And more, if you're desperate for charity, I'll find sponsors to help you out. You will do so much better for, from the sponsors than the Harkles. Please do not let Harry and Meghan uh, stand for this cause or speak. They have shown, wrote about, and televised horrible behaviors. I personally would be insulted having to listen to them. Whilst Harry and his wife are making this a PR comeback stunt, as well as a money-making scheme, the really heroes, the veterans, are paying the price. No, really, it's sad because the Invictus Games Foundation has cornered itself into an impossible situation. Harry was the one who propped them up thanks to his former royal relevance, but as Harry has fallen from grace, he also has tarnished the name of the games to the point that it's impossible not to relate them to the worst side of gingerbread. And this is just plain human behavior. We do this automatically. But this is sort of a catch-22 situation for them. If they keep Harry, they keep sinking because of the bad reputation. If they dump him, they are going to look as ingrates. Now, that would look like the logical thing to do, but yeah, it will still not look good. The same not looking good when you see stories like this. And I have no excuse for not being aware of this meeting, but to be fair, I was not even a YouTuber at this point. Meghan Markle and Hillary Clinton secretly spent the afternoon together at Frogmore Cottage. And maybe that is the third party that has been using Harry's royal status to sell their agenda. You know that I don't like to get into politics, but Meghan has always wanted to seize the ultimate power, which is political in nature. Now, this would explain so, so many things from Ginger Brat's descent into despair, if not full-on madness, which would be ironic after so many mental health word salad, because we don't know what kind of pictures these political forces could have to twist his arm and wait worse than playing a strip poker, and that would also explain all the silly decisions that Meghan makes, all the ridicule that she triggers with her own actions. All of this could be some kind of ritual, like a rite of passage. A public price you have to pay, and the currency is plain old scorn. My only question is, is this an ongoing membership? I, I would love to read your opinion in the comments. My royal rogues, remember that you can support my channel by just hitting like and subscribe, and it's free. Much love and bliss.